welcome to day two of Costa Rica travel. So we got into the Double Tree last night, and uh, maybe we're refreshed. I don't know. We slept five hours, something like that. Ellie's not refreshed. We probably aren't. But we're getting ready. Ryder's refreshed. He would be. So we're getting ready to eat some delicious breakfast here at the Double Tree. Um, so it's a really cool spread. So. Um, I'll show you right now and you can see the buffet. You got like the honeycomb on there and just all this delicious stuff looks yeah, awesome. The but... honeycomb is um, for the sausage. Yeah, for that's the right. Sausage. We like to put the sweetness on the sausage or the bacon. The um, yeah, that's true. That's how we roll. So should be good, but we're gonna go enjoy some breakfast, get the and day I'm started. The sausage is good too. And our oldest, Charlie, she's still sleeping, so snooze you lose, but we're gonna go try and wake her up for some breakfast. And the, 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 the potatoes, if you dip them in ketchup, they're really good. They're really good when you dip them in ketchup? If you like yeah. french nice. fries. Mm. Is it good? It's like a thicker cafe. Mine is the prettiest. Cafe. Cafe ole. <laughs> I'm gonna delicious. get it. Something soon. Well, I'm gonna try a plantain while we're here together. Oh, I wanted to ask about that. So I there's the plantain. plantain. Looks good. So banana. Can I have a with bite some of sort it? Of, um, sweetness on it. Yep. Ellie's gonna try it first. I never had one before. I'm trying. What do you think? Kind of sweet. Maybe. Can I get a tiny bit sour? It's actually good. You like it? Cool. Well. Round two, I'll try it now. You see where the sour is? I don't know if I taste the sour. It's not sour, Maybe. it's just a little tang. Yeah, I can see the tang, a little sweetness to it. It's good, I think I built it. up a mental model of what it would taste like in my head. I thought it'd be a little sweet, sweeter, but it's really, really good. I, it just tastes I could like eat the daylights out of banana. this. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Just something super, super sweet, like almost American style, like probably sugar, tons of honey, but it's a good sweetness and I was it's expecting delicious. It just tastes like a banana. Mm, well, I don't know. That's probably a better expectation to go in with. But first plantain seems delicious. Mm. Uh, so this is like fancy Thailand. It's filming Ellie. Really it's filming Ellie. It's good. Ryder can have plantains. I give it a 10 out of 5. That's really good. 10 <laughs> out of 5. I'm going to try these. Plantains. Plantain. 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 So he's good to have them? Yeah. What's in a plantain? It's just um, plantain. It's just a, a cinnamon fried treat. How do you like it? A bit Swedish. A bit Swedish. Swedish. I a think Swedish he means it's sweet. Yeah. No, I know what he meant. It's not. A, did you think it was gonna be sweeter? I know I did. I thought it was really. Sweet. Mm, it kind of tastes like a cinnamon roll. <laughs> That's probably a good analogy. Healthy cinnamon roll. A, a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon. That's what Ryder calls it. Cinnamon. Mm, I rate this. That's good. I rate this what do you think? 10 out of 10. Give it a 10. Plantains. A little sweet, a little sour, very cinnamon y. Delicious. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to try this and I drizzled honey over it. So. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it has chocolate chips. Food critic Ellie. Food critic Ellie. It tastes a little plantain y. And it's not too sweet. Oh, maybe it's banana bread. I bet you it is. With carrots in it. I, I can also taste some carrots in it, too. But, um. Looks really good. I'm gonna try another bite, one with the chocolate chips, and see how I feel about it. Better with the chocolate chip or the same? 
I like it better without the chocolate chips, but um, I think the honey adds a nice touch and the cream, it's not too sweet. So if I was rating this restaurant based on this dessert, I would give it um, 5.5. .5. Out of five. <laughs> These are great ratings. You can come to my restaurant any day. Well, your restaurant is probably worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's neat. I've never actually seen a whole kiwi. I have. I haven't. I've seen it cut up, but not <laughs> the actual process. I haven't seen it like Beautiful. this. I would like this cool. thing to be So what I always do is just peel the edges off. Sometimes they peel easily. Sometimes they don't. If you drew eyes on your kiwi, you could say it was Kiwi Herman. <laughs> I don't get it. That joke was terrible. I liked it. Do you want to try a bite? Super good. Look. I would like to do Ellie trying oh, kiwi. How do good? you know? Delicious. Kiwi Ellie? was one of my favorite fruits growing up. Ellie tries <laughs> Who knew? Kiwi. I've had kiwi before. But we're trying this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Take a big bite. You can bite, eat the white part too. I know. Mm. Mm. It is not as sweet as I expected it to be. Eat it. Eat it. Which is not very good for me since I like sweet stuff. I thought there would be a little sweet, but no, it makes it tastes like um non sweet watermelon with a little tang. I rig it four out of five. Oh, no, actually you do want to say? Two point five out of five. God's bounty scored the worst here today. <laughs> Not from me, I thought it was delicious. So we were just walking out to the pool and I looked and I saw one of these things. Can you see it? And I said, is this a cocoa tree? A cacao tree? Cacao! And then I looked down and it is right in the hotel. I'd love to take one, but I don't think we're supposed to because I want to see the beans, but maybe this is the hint that we do need to actually do a chocolate tour. <laughs> I don't know. It's a sign. It's a sign. A anyway, tour? it's literally a sign. Yeah, they have a chocolate tour here because they have these. To the pool. To the pool. So he's going to flip me and it's going to be really cool. So watch. Okay, wait. Let me put Watch the dollar, it, nerd. Okay? <laughs> Buy the pros. <laughs> Okay. I'm awesome. You ready? One, two, three. Here you go. Now I. Now Ryder. Woo! Good job, Ellie. Now I. Good job, Ellie. Good job, Ellie. One, two. Okay. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. Circle leaves, circle leaves, circle leaves. Take me all around. Two, three. So sharks and minnow time. So I'm the shark. Let's go get these kids and let's eat them up. Chomp, 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 chomp. Sharks and minnows, go! All right, you guys gonna do it? Yeah, we are. These are some scared minnows. I'll go way over here. You can have a big head start. We'll give you a big head start. Oh, I didn't mean to give you that big of a head start. The minnows have escaped. You survived. Yeah. Are you gonna go, Ray? Now you're the only minnow. Five second head start and I won't go. <laughs> Ready? 
ready or not, here I come. You made it. You all right? You dead, man. Don't drink the water. Sorry if I made you now. Sir. My sister is now going. Bye, guys. <laughs> so good times at the Double Tree in Costa Rica. Uh, the plan originally was to get the rental car and to head out to La Fortuna today But our flight was so delayed getting in last night We probably didn't hit the room and hit bed till about 3 50 a.m. So we figured at that point You know shoot we just need a day of rest So we were thinking of doing two days in San Jose when we got back uh, So we're just gonna do one less day in San Jose on the tail end of the trip and just hang out today. So we've been hanging out by the pool, chilling in the hot tub, and just trying to relax, uh, shake off some of that jet lag. We got a thunderstorm rolling in in the background, um, which is nice that we got out of the pool, but you have all these birds that you're hearing just chirping, which is great and it's super, super relaxing. And just had a ball with the kids. I think anytime you can get in a pool, with your kids and just hang out. That's always a solid day. So the plan is probably later today to go into the city of San Jose, maybe get a rental car, get the SIM card um, as well. But it's been a lovely day. Awesome breakfast um, that was included as part of, we're part of, I guess, Diamond or whatnot with Hilton. So you got one free breakfast and one guest per person and we have two rooms because we have five people to meet the occupancy so um, everyone's f was free we would have had to pay for Charlie but they were so sweet they're like oh she's so small she's so small um, free don't worry about it um, so it's just been a lovely daggone day just hanging out and relaxing so that's what we're doing and thanks for thanks for joining us by the pool y'all So we did just finish eating lunch as Ellie talked about and I think the hardest thing especially traveling with allergies is Ryder has a severe egg and dairy allergy. So anytime he eats any of those things, potentially having to have an EpiPen. So we always check in and confirm, but it still just makes you nervous when you're in a foreign country because maybe they don't understand what you're asking for. Um, so today Ryder had the hamburger and the hamburger bun. And then afterwards, his stomach wasn't feeling well, so it always just freaks me out because you're like, hey, is something going on? Is he okay? Um, so that's one of the hard things that we deal with. But um, another news, he is all good. He apparently ate four fig bars before we even came to lunch, so his tummy was upset for that reason. So he's all good, but just kind of sharing some of the things of travel that we run across and we deal with. But definitely worth it to spend time with the family and uh, get out and see different areas and try to do it as safely as possible. Hola mis amigos! So we are here still at the Double Tree, and then it's raining and it is beautiful and <laughs> Ryan's telling me to be louder as I talk so Can you, you have hear? to let me know if you heard me <laughs> earlier or not. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful. There's birds, well right now there's not birds chirping, but before there were birds chirping and even though it was raining and right now it's just like a lovely rain and the kids are snuggled up in the room because they're tired so are we but we thought we should come out have a drink and enjoy the night here in this lovely hotel buenas tardes <laughs> buenas noches so cool little reception um that they have their happy hour with the double tree so um i guess you get 
free drinks, five to seven, and then you get some different, one appetizer comes free. So that's a, I don't know, really cool perks. I don't know, we're diamond and I don't want to sound like such a yuppie by saying maybe you have to be diamond. I don't, I don't know. Oh, you do, okay. All right, so there you go. I guess that's why, so yes. My apology, so you actually do have to be that, but if not, still it's a cool bar overlooking the pool and it's a good vibe and atmosphere and great company if this girl's at the bar. <laughs> so, we're gonna enjoy drink some drinks. Company. Celebrate. Yeah, tired and beautiful. Like a little chili in it. What is it? A mango fruit salad and it looks like it has like a little sliver of chili in it and rugged onions and what is the... Basil? Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. I know you love mango. So, instead of a sweet, it's like a savory fruit salad. It has a very savory taste to it. But what it's does delicious. savory even mean? Not sweet, essentially. Not sweet. Okay. Yeah. You fancy. To, oh, yeah. to bring it down. <laughs> anyway. Enjoy. It's good. Well, friends, that's a wrap from night two. Thanks for coming along with us, and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our Costa Rica journeys and to see more of LA. Cause it's a beautiful life, oh, 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 oh. it's a beautiful life, oh, oh, oh.